the London International Youth Science Forum. How did you spend your summer? We spent the most amazing two weeks living in London. Not an ordinary experience by any account, and definitely not with ordinary people. The opportunity to interact and connect with participants from 57 different countries discussing cutting-edge lectures was incredible. For me, the day I visited the John Irons Centre sums up my life of experience. Waking up at five after being out till three, I was exhausted, yet I couldn't help but get caught up in the dynamic conversation and ending up with no time for a nap on the bus. Once at the centre, I was blown away by the state-of-the-art research facility. The lectures themselves were incredible, explaining how antioxidants in genetically modified purple tomatoes have acted to strengthen the immune system against cancer. On a tour of the centre, I found handwritten letters from Charles Darwin and Alfred Russell Wallace, two of my favourite scientists, connecting me to the history of the research. Once back at the centre, um, once back at Imperial College London, our home for the two weeks, I was rushed off for yet another late night, this time in the West End, watching The Lion King. Every day at LISEF provided similar opportunities, so it was no wonder we hardly slept for two weeks. Why sleep when there was so much to do? The next two weeks passed in a blur that I will always remember. There were amazing lectures, trips, parties, and not forgetting the LISEF Olympics. Possibly my favourite lecture was the keynote speech at the opening ceremony. The topic was on electronics and biomedical research. Professors from the university explained how they designed devices like artificial pancreas and cochlear implants by mimicking nature and electronics. The research was already changing people's lives, allowing born deaf children to hear for the very first time. Amazing. It was particularly inspiring for me as I wanted to pursue a career in electronic engineering and it had connected me to a new branch of electronics. This year's TEDx theme is Connect and couldn't be more relevant to our LISEF experience. Everyone who attends LISEF has a passion for science. This gave us a great starting point for great friendships that extended past the event. The exposure was to different cultures was unique. It broadened our mindset and raised our awareness of the one thing that connected us all, the common language of science. Over 300 people attended this year's forum from all over the world, which exposed us to a huge variety of languages. Interacting in this new community allowed us to pick up different phrases, anything from Jamaican patwa to Indian and Chinese greetings. By the end of the forum, my name tag was filled with over 20 translations of my name. The truly incredible thing about LISEF is the people. The vast majority of participants had gained their place at the forum by winning national competitions and thus qualifying themselves as the greatest young scientists in the world. Katie and I were hugely privileged to gain a place simply through Sally Bream's long-standing connection with LISEF and therefore were able to engage with these outstanding people and discuss their award-winning projects. I was particularly interested in my new French cat's research pro pro project, the search for a human chemo signal in emotional tears. The idea was that human emotional tears contain an active chemical that can change a physiological response. Now her, her results conclusively proved for the first time that female emotional tears do in fact reduce testosterone levels in men. <laughs> um, however, many questions were left unanswered. This inspired me to undertake an ex extended project qualification alongside my A-levels, connecting me to a new branch of biochemistry in a collaboration with Shikat. I also have understood the importance of international connections. So how did you spend your summer? We can't think of a better way to, to have spent ours than at the London International Youth Science Forum. Thank you.